Hey Arlington, September is Emergency Preparedness Month, and there's a bunch of stuff going on that can help you be prepared. We'll tell you more about them later, and take a look at a ceremony honoring those who are the most prepared of all, Arlington's first responders. But first, the much anticipated Arlington Mill Community Center is now open. This amazing new facility at the corner of Columbia Pike and South Dinwiddie Street has a gym and programs for all ages. Take a tour and attend the ribbon cutting ceremony on Saturday, September 21st from 5 to 7 p.m. It's back to school time and this year's students can use the art bus to get around Arlington at reduced rates. Middle and high school students can pick up an iRide Smart Trip card for just $3 at local commuter stores. The iRide card also works as a regular Smart Trip card on Metro Bus and Metro Rail. Another way to get around Arlington is by bike. Bike Arlington is offering free classes in Courthouse and Roslyn. RSVP online for Two Wheel Tuesdays at bikearlington.com slash TWT. And if you have a bike, make sure you register it with the police on the Arlington website. Keywords, bicycle registration. Bring yourself and your dog to the newly revamped James Hunter Park in Clarendon. Recent renovations include a plaza, garden, water features, and a separate area where dogs can frolic to their heart's content. Now, we all want to be prepared, but no one's more prepared than the first responders and sailors on the USS Arlington. Our community is still raising funds for the onboard 9-11 tribute room at events like the recent Navy League reception honoring these men and women. Take a look. Well, tonight we're honoring Arlington's first responders, the men and women who so valiantly served at the Pentagon on 9-11. And this is all part of our grand scheme to create what we call a tribute room. And the tribute room will be behind the bridge of our ship, the USS Arlington. It'll contain memorabilia and items uh, that really are directly the result of 9-11, including steel uh, beams, steel girders from the Pentagon will be in the tribute room. And the tribute room will go forward for the next 40 years on our ship, travel the world, and tell the Arlington story globally. September 11, 2001, is a date that's um, etched in our history now, of the country, but of Arlington. When this group got together, this commissioning committee, to pull together some funds to ensure that the relationship with the USS Arlington continues, with the crew, with the namesake county, with the past, with the future, we felt an obligation to be a part of that pot of money as a county. Tonight we're saying thank you to all, the, all of the wonderful people across the community who helped us uh, sponsor this commission, helped design, and, and we will build the tribute room to the first responders and the folks we lost on 9-11. And it's a chance for us to honor uh, the ship, uh, its, its uh, sailors, crew, uh, and also uh, to talk uh, really, uh, as we get close to 9-11, about those first responders, those heroes that, that live and work amongst us uh, who go unheralded day after day. It's a beautiful ship and uh, a fitting tribute to those brave men and women who ran towards the, the disaster. There were those magnificent folks from the County of Arlington, first responders that came in and helped and, and saved lives and helped put the fire out. It was a magnificent thing to behold. God bless our ship and all who sail on her. You can follow the crew's adventures on the USS Arlington Facebook page and you can learn more about emergency preparedness during trivia nights at local watering holes. Or join VEST, Arlington's volunteer emergency support team. To find out more, visit the OEM website. And don't forget to sign up for Arlington Alert to get emergency messages on your computer or handheld device at arlingtonalert.com. If there's an emergency, you'll want to know about it and be prepared. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around Arlington.